Greetings and gratitude to all light forms and life workers who have found this. Happy birthday, January 17th. I'm your host, the Third Eye Lion. Welcome. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. If you would like to learn more about people born on January 17th, you found the right video. Or if you are here to just gain more information on the 365 daily archetypes, I'm here for you. Hope you're having a beautiful and powerful day. Okay, have you ever been in a position where everything's hitting the fan, everything's going wrong, everybody's freaking out, and they turn to you? They look, they come, they ask, they inquire about how you can do what you do. How can you give them a perspective of what they do? You know, it may not always be serious with your answers. Comedy is a very strong trait for people on this day. But what you really have is leadership. When people see you, they question what they can do. They see what you have achieved, and they ask, can I achieve that too? At your best, you're purposeful. You know what you're doing. You do it in a tough, strong way, and you're committed to the outcome. These could be perceived as positive or negative based on who you are and how you would like to perceive things. But don't take them as entirely positive or entirely negative. Both aspects exist because you can be argumentative. You don't shy away from speaking your truth. Because of that, sometimes your mind gets narrowed and you have a hard time seeing the greater truth or the shadowed truth. Because of this, you take risks that may not have been thought through and that may be detrimental because of the lack of forethought. Again, don't read too much into these at best and at worst or light or dark side. We are both. It is just good to know those perceptions. Your power thought or affirmation, my attitude counts. Another way to phrase it is my current vibrational state responds to all other states in kind. Or however you choose to phrase it. I like to use more words than needed. You may not... You may already know, if not, you are a Capricorn. Your birth zone is Garnet. Your favorable numbers are 8 and 9. Lucky days are Saturday. That falls on the 8th or 9th of the month. And your birth date ruler is the teacher, Saturn. You have a natural way of learning and teaching. You may not call it these things, but the information you gain, you know how to apply it in a proper and causational way where the causes come back in its highest form. You prefer to take the lead. You prefer to be the person to stand up and say, let's do it this way. You can see the pros and cons, and you tend to always be cautious with tradition. You see how tradition has been. You respect it, but you're cautious to propagate and propagate the old types of hatred and negative beliefs of the tradition that still hold on to it. But you can help others and you see the social reform. You see how things could and should be changed and you are working on it in your own way. You have a very strong sense of beliefs and wills and ethics. These things are approved and these things are not approved. This is how things should be and this is how things shouldn't be. It's really strong for you. But you almost have a superhuman degree of self-control. You, you're not someone who falls under peer pressure very easily. And if you do, it is prolonged, degrasive peer pressure. And you are natural able to see the struggles of the world and be successful in your own endeavors, in your own choices that happens. Naturally and artificially, you feel like you're not a good enough leader, but that is artificial because what is natural is you are the best leader you possibly can be. But because both energies of belief are so close together in the brain, sometimes they overlap. So when the past hurts and experiences and all of this trauma that you might have had in the past, look at it as a way to help you to grow because it seems like you might have a hard time trusting others. This is perfectly fine, but do you trust yourself? Do you have that trusting relationship of you? 
Are you able to look inward, look into that mirror and say, hey, person, I trust you. And if you throw me into a fire, it's cool because that's what I wanted anyway. That's how I see it. Okay. You realize how important it is to have control over your life. You really feel like it is necessary for you to be in the driver's seat of what's going on. And you're not easily going to give yourself up to some religion, control system, master of any kind. You understand that you are your own master. You do have teachers, but none of them are completely in control over you. They just advise you. Fortunately, in your early 30s and maybe even earlier, you're going to take a deep shift in your life to gain more control of things that you feel like you have no control over. You understand that you did have control in a way that you just didn't perceive of. And those negative thoughts and feelings are going to be challenged a lot once you reach that age of maturity. Your your natural originality, directness, and you're not afraid of offending people. Oftentimes, the only way anything happens is when someone gets offended. If you're not offended, you're not going to do anything. If I tell you that I can sense your household is is unhappy, you're not going to do anything about it. But when I tell you, I see I seen your person, man or woman, and they've been making out with that fire hydrant. And they're rubbing their whole body up against that fire hydrant. And everyone sees and they're taking pictures. It's on the internet. See, that's offensive. But you're going to probably do something about it. You're not going to just pretend like it didn't happen. Me offending you in the words I use is going to lead to more action than those who hear what I say. This is good for you. Don't be overly offensive. But understand that offense is a good, either a physical fence or a offense is a good tool in the tool belt. It's good to have because sometimes you need to set up a fence and sometimes you really need to be offensive to get what you want through, to get through their fences. Words have multiple meanings. This English language is pretty ridiculous. So for your destiny, your life path is to use your self-discipline and self-control to overcome all adversity, all issues, all problems. You understand that inside you is the solution, is the way to overcome the problem, is that what if the problem is just an opportunity? What if that issue is just a tissue to blow your nose on? It's your choice on how you perceive these things. Because your greatest destiny is to show others how to cooperate, how to have mutual understanding, and to lead by example, to create this harmonic frequency with others, to create this vibration with others that only you can. Your love life, you are really born to be a social person, to go out, to talk to people. You might be a little awkward in some ways, but you're very outgoing in others. And you can be dominating and controlling. Look when that happens in your partnership and try to be aware of that because you're a very independent person and your partner usually tends to be that way too. So give them that freedom and independence, but also know that that intimacy and trust is important. Let them do what they're going to do, but know they're going to come back to you. And if that's no longer the case, there's a good chance that that's not the type of relationship or partnership you would like to have. Okay, for your career, people on this day will like careers with a lot of self-control, things where you kind of make your own bookings, you, you are your own boss, you are the top of the food chain, it's going to work better than some type of entry-level uh, position, or something that is entry-level that allows you to do things within your own free will and your own power. Uh I'm getting a few things here. Don't lean into any of them. These are just some ideas that are coming forth. Okay, armed forces, uh, police, or clergy. This could also be debating, uh, public speaker, civil servant, uh, chef, fashion designer, caterer, 
as well as any careers that inspire, teach, um, give, or enlighten. So I'm getting like a motivational speaker, uh, a, someone maybe a, a comedian, a poet, where you make your own schedule, but you understand that your actions are being understood by other people and the things you create can help the world as you know, politics, civil servant may not be for you, clergy or police force may not be for you. But there's other types of volunteer opportunities, rangers, and other positions where you have some autonomy over your scheduling, but you have a responsibility over your tasks. Okay, now to your birthday card. Happy birthday. <laughs> You have endless opportunities presented in front of you this year. There are a limitless amount of possibilities for you to experience in this upcoming year. The more that you allow each one to come to see it and then to decide yes or no, to bring it in or push it aside, this is your choice and this is within you. But all these opportunities are going to continue to flow, are going to continue to spin in your existence, in your perception. And understand that this is all for you to choose. One is not better than the other. The one you choose was the perfect choice. But the fact is you have many choices. Look at them all. Understand them all. Perceive each and every one before you bring it into you completely. But once you do, don't regret. Don't feel like you made the wrong choice. You couldn't have. You made the choice you made and that was the right choice. So I wish you a happy and glorious birthday. Hope I brought some smiles and jubilance to your life. Wishing you a powerful and perceptional day.